Jonathan! Hi, Ma! Ah. Oh. The Wanderer returns. We're going upstairs, sunshine. I'm charging you with attempted murder. Lester didn't do it, you know that. Uh, no, I don't know that, actually. Neither do you. The only thing I know for sure is that a man who's only just been stabbed just happens to be related to one of the Indians who attacked our father. Maybe I'm just fooling myself thinking this thing could work. We can still be friends. <coughs> Which one of these two do you think we should wear? To go where? Church. Church? My father wants me to be his... to be the next pastor. I used to sit on my daddy left with this watch and wind it up. And by rights, it belongs to me. And now you people want to run me out and call me thief? Who is you anyhow? But see ya. He thinks he can chase me out of my father's house. May the Lord make us truly thankful. Amen. Amen. The woman's insufferable. What makes her think she can dictate to us? And making a scene in the church. Oh, Pastor Peters is dead now. She has no more say in the matter of the church than anybody else. Grace, she's supposed to lead by example, not behave like a common washerwoman. But Jonathan taking over, indeed. I mean, what qualifications does he have? There is a way to handle this sort of thing. They're so ungrateful, that family. And after we got Lester Bale. Can't stop, I'm late. Darren what? Manners! Honestly, that boy. Grace, you and I both know that Jonathan is no threat to my position. You may need this pastorship. Don't forget you might lose your job. We don't know that for certain. Leave it, dear. Yes, and if I'd left everything to you, dear, you'd still have been an usher at 49. That may be so, but if we trust in God, I'm sure I will become pastor. Pastor Gittens of the Holy Trinity Evangelical Church of the Living God. Pastor Gittens. Andy? Don't call me that. Tavares, run and ask your mother if she could save some of the hot water for everybody else. When is she leaving? Who? Who do you think? Don't be facetious. If anybody has anything to say to me, they can come and say it to my face. I can't believe it. Dad funking for Jamaica with that woman's mother. Your father was young then. He was just like any other man. Wait a minute. Weren't you pregnant at the time with me? Leave it now, Aquila. You mean to say, my dad fathered the child whilst you were carrying me? How could you, Mum? How could you accept it? The Bible teaches forgiveness. How can I run the church now? That idea was always a ridiculous one and you know it. After all he taught us. What a hypocrite. Don't you dare talk about your father like that. Who do you think you are? Yes, this Petronella situation is a mess. Goodness girl, stop being so selfish and leave me to prepare Lester's dinner. You should have married Marcus and had some kids. That would have kept you occupied. Marcus, so am I some kind of breeding machine for you, Mum? Think about it. Marriage is no joke. Not like you and Dad, you mean? <laughs> Sister Gittens. <laughs> Mum, Sister Gittens! I am not here! Why did you come, Jonathan? Why do you think? This is a serious test. You need to be aware of all the implications. Do you have someone you can talk to? Friends? Family? I'm the pastor's son, of course not. You look like you could do with some support. Oh, this palava. Look, I'll get a nurse in and we'll take some blood. If you have any questions, or if you want to talk, 
ring this 24-hour helpline. Just a minute, this is all going a bit fast, do you know what I mean? The sooner you have the test done, the sooner you'll know either way. Yeah, yeah. I think I'll come back, yeah, just, just need time to think. Thanks anyway. Stop screeching. Jonathan, it's good to see you. Hello, Pearl. You're looking good. Your girlfriend must take good care of you. You know, I quite like looking after myself. If I had such a fine specimen like yourself, I'd feed you oysters all day long. Actually, seafood makes me sick. Well then, we spend all our days exploring what really makes you feel good. Great voice. She knew. Sister Joyce's niece. Oh, that's talent, that is. Oh, young. I always think maturity is the key to a good voice. New broom sweeps clean, but an old broom knows all the corners. <laughs> <laughs> We want to sing in the Pentecostal Regional Choir Competition next month in London. Oh, sounds great. It's like exposure for the church. Yes, but we're facing a little opposition. Ladies and gentlemen, this is not a reggae rave up! Actually, I quite liked it. Well, you've been away from us a while, Jonathan. May I remind you, young men and women, the Lord's words are supposed to edify a congregation, not inspire it into an ungodly breakdown. Stand up, stand up for Jesus. This is all I need. Oh, don't be like that. I just came to see how you were and to see how you were coping with a new house guest. Why? Did you fancy her? Don't be silly. She upsets you and that distresses me. She's going to make a mockery of this family, Marcus. Can't you ignore her? How can I? I have my hopes pinned on running this place. Parading herself like some exotic stripper. <laughs> She's got a bare faced cheek if you ask me freeloading off on your family. Don't let it get you down. You got spirit and drive, and that's what makes you special. You're right. I'm not gonna give up on what I want. She was dad's mistake, not mine. You go for it, girl. Marcus. Yeah. Thanks. You're a very tough woman, Aquila. That's why I love you. I have a robe if you forgot to pack one. No thanks. I think the skin should be allowed to breathe. Mm -mm. This country cool. I mean like icebox. All the more reason to cover up. When I get to meet the rest of the family. You've met enough of them to go home now and boast. I just come. You know, I have a good singing voice. I want to sing in your church. That is out of the question. Petronella, 
There isn't anything for you here. What about the children's father? Them father all right, man. What is it you want? If it's money, say so. And leave us in peace. For years, it was just me and my mother in Jamaica. I struggle with my backside out of door like some poor thing. While you all live good. I've always wanted to meet you that had. Because I had not. And now I'm here. I just want to be part of a proper family. Always two steps ahead of me, aren't you? You didn't have to bother with this, you know how we're going to do it. I'm always the one who has to clean up after this family. I couldn't make the funeral look well. I've explained. You're just not going to forgive me, are you? Mum's forgiving you. That's all that matters, isn't it? So, how long's Patra and the Patronella's going to be terrorising us? Mum was saying it wouldn't be such a bad idea if she did stay with us. Damage and limitation, know what I mean? Did she know? And what about the prodigal son? Aquila, I didn't know Dad wanted me to take over the church. But you'll take it. Don't know. I've got my own life to think about, haven't I? The job in Leeds, I live in Leeds. And I've done things, you know, that Dad and all this wouldn't necessarily be very proud of. And you? I thought you could do no wrong. You know something, Aquila? You used to be a really nice girl. You want to be really careful, sis. Wasn't the meeting inspiring? It's all right. All right, it was wicked, man. We've got to go mentally for you, right, just being. You want to learn to stand up to him? I've been thinking about the choir competition, me and you. What about it? Well, why don't we just stop hiding and show a room? Are you mad? We'd be fried chicken if we got caught. Who cares what they say? Anyway, I think I agree with the sons. Sex should only be experienced in a holy estate of marriage. What? Well, I know what my brothers are like. I could just be one of a string of girls you sleep with. No, oh, Mum. You know you're my babes. Well, I'm through with all that. <laughs> oh, well, I can't see you going without a regular service. You want a bet? You carry on laughing. Oh, you better make sure your mummy don't find them condoms in your top drawer. Otherwise, beatings. Oh, teeth, man, I'm hungry. How is the boy? We're well, praying he'll be the new pastor. Jonathan's being so cagey. He won't talk to me. He will make his announcement on Sunday. Sunday? And your youngest? Lester. He promised to be home today. I cooked his favourite dinner and nothing. He'll be home, Faith. Yes, don't be shy. The creases on your forehead tell me you have a lot of stress. How are your house guests? Petronella. Unusual name. Is she staying long? I'm missing my husband so much. It just never gets any better. Seek solace in the Lord. Come. Let us pray for you and Patronella. You Do I have to again? tell you again? I, I've told you. Don't I don't believe a anything back. you say. Jonathan, we need your diplomatic skills. What is it? Elder Gittens doesn't approve of us going to London. He thinks the old hymn should be sung in the traditional way. But sounds of blackness, new colours, that's what's saying it, man. Well, we thought if you organise a trip, he could be persuaded. Please. I'll talk to Elder Gittens. Aquila. You know, in these situations, men like to deal with each other. It's a matter of pride for them. Am I being manipulated here? I've always dealt with the choir's business. Leave it to me. No, oh, I understand. What with Marcus and your hormones going all over the place. What are you going on about? Come. So 
talking of hospitals, St. George's, I have a cousin who works there. Small world, huh? What do you want? A man needs a purpose in life until Jonathan realizes it is me. Let him run the choir. So you want me to back off? We're all praying for a new young pastor. Well, it's not decided yet. So, we have a deal then. We'll see. Yes. Need a good washout. Nasty English food. Lester! Why didn't you call? We would have met you. I have to take a walk, man. Clear me head. Are you all right? Did those pigs beat you up? I'm fine, I'm fine. Esther, you didn't do it, did you? Aquila, I'm your brother. Where's Mum? We had an argument. She's gone to see Sister Ruth and Naomi. She'll be back soon. What are you two arguing about now? Girl, me have the fears, and me have the figure. Remind me of the bends, the letters and the beaver. La 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 la. Hello? Come here. Petronella. <laughs> really? <laughs> Petronella. <clears throat> Lester! Can't believe me, look at you. Oh! Are you all right? House tracks. Oh. I see you met your father's daughter. My father's what? Jonathan, service is about to start. I did love him, you know. I know. It's just that now he's gone, I feel like a huge weight's been lifted off my shoulders. Am I wrong to think like that? I don't know. Come on. Jonathan will make his announcement today. He'll become the pastor. Yes, Auntie. Auntie Aquila! Shh! Keep still, child, and don't call her that. Good morning, church. Good morning. Good morning, good morning sir. I said good morning, church. Good, good morning. morning. The Bible says, make a joyful noise unto the Lord. That's what it says. So let we have an hallelujah. We're in church now. Hallelujah. These words I would like to impart on our choir, who have been faithfully serving this community for many years. And may I also add that the grass isn't greener on the other side. Oh. We at the Holy Trinity Evangelical Church of the Living God seek to serve the Lord diligently. Amen. Amen. Is the grass greener on the other side, brothers and sisters? No! no. Is the grass greener on the other side? No! No. Well, we will expand on that topic later on in today's service. But before I share God's words with you, young Jonathan Peters has asked me to step aside while he shares a few words with you all. Thank you. Hasn't that boy embarrassed his family, you know? Bad boy. Bad boy. Bad boy. <laughs> well, well, he's brave, man. 
Thank you, Elder Gittins. I'll make this short. My father left a letter expressing his wishes, which I'm sure you're all aware of. Well, I've decided not to keep you in suspense any longer. I've been away for a few years now, and it deeply saddens me that it is due only to my father's untimely death that I should stand before you here today. As I should have embraced you of my own accord. But they say God works in mysterious ways. Speak, Jonathan! Speak God's words! Before I make my decision, I just want to say it hasn't been easy. Just want to say that. I, I... Mom, I don't want to let you down. <clears throat> anyway, there's just a few things I need to sort out for myself first. Aquila, I hope you serve our successor as well as you served our father. Because until such time, I would like Elder Gittins to act as overseer and continue my father's duties until I make up my mind. Thank you. Welcome, Pastor Gittins. Simpsons next on BBC Two, and you won't recognise Homer. I'll be there.